What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke. Now, if you've been following our Focus RS build, you know that we've already installed our Raceland coilovers and in the last video we did the 1552 wheels. So today we are getting new seats. Now they should be delivered here in a couple of hours. So in the meantime, I gotta run to Ford and pick up some oil. Even the right stuff. Let's hope so. You're gonna get all lubed up? I am, always. They're here! Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're a lot stronger than me. Box. Super excited. Okay, guys, huge shout out to Corbo Seats for hooking us up with these racing buckets. Now, you may be wondering why we would remove the nice factory seats from the RS. There's going to be a few reasons why we're going to do that. One, obviously, from what we've read, these are going to be quite heavy. These are going to lighten things up quite a bit. This is going to give us the look that we want and also it's going to just hold us a lot better when we're ripping through the canyon. So we're super excited to see what they've sent over and get them installed in the car. Oh, that's light. Oh, I thought I might need your help, but definitely not the case. Dude, these are sick. They are very clean, lighter than you would expect them to be. Super awesome. The other thing that we're super pumped on, Corbo offers thousands of direct bolt-in brackets for almost every vehicle. So it'll make installation super easy, no modification necessary. Seat will bolt to the bracket, bracket bolts right into the vehicle. So we're super pumped that it's gonna be a simple install. It's out, it's Get it. out. I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Holy moly. What do we got? 51, almost 52 pounds. Dude, we're gonna save some it serious feels, weight. It feels a lot heavier than 52 pounds. <laughs> Excuse me. Check it. Woo! 20.8 pounds. Dude, we're literally saving 30 pounds per, per seat. seat. That's pretty freaking good. There we go, look at that. Not too bad. Dude, those look sick. All right guys, so there's no better way to test out these seats than to actually throw this car around some turns. So we are in the middle of nowhere. We've got a racetrack set up. This guy thinks he's faster than me. I know I'm faster than you. Well, let's see. Set, go. What did he get? 24 seconds, 44. Did I hit some cones? Dude, you hit like nine cones. Dis does, it dis your does it dis disqualify? Dis 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 <laughs> On your marks? How do you feel? These brakes are insane. Yeah, but do you feel like you beat me? I don't care about the brakes. I missed, missed a shift. I, I so feel like I still beat you. What was my time? 24.44. 25.16. Oh, no! <laughs> Got him! All right, guys, there's no way David just beat me. You totally cheated, dude. No, first off, 
No, I didn't. And second off, everybody at home knows that I was gonna be the faster of the two and they were proven right. So you guys are smart. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. David definitely ran over a few cones, but I'm not gonna be a sad loser. I have a better idea. I've got a phone call to make. And I think we're gonna set up another race. You guys will Bring see the it. next video. Guys, be sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. I don't think I hit them. I think it was just the speed by which I went by them that <laughs> made them. I'm sure you had the cone in the middle of the car. No, it felt like it flew up because they're so light. Oh, you're so, so fast. We just bought them at Walmart. <laughs> I wanted to point something out really quick that uh, Luke is already cheating. He is a full bumper. There we go. Get it.